Hey, what's going on, Next Gen Tactics? My name is Delta Hunter, and today I thought I would go over basically what I've learned in Black Ops so far. And I've had a couple of setbacks, basically the same as Guns for Hire. Um, I actually am not playing on my Delta Hunter account because of all the lag and frame drops and all that stuff. So I, I have barely any friends on this one, and it's it's awesome. But um, I lost all my crap so far, but on my, on my Delta account, the KD is so bad because uh, all the frame drops and stuff. But uh, on this one, I'm, do, I'm doing really good on it. So I, I might just stick to this one for Black Ops. I'm not sure. But uh, besides that, I want to talk about basically what I've learned in Black Ops so far. And for me, I, I haven't found my favorite assault rifle yet. But I know my favorite two submachine guns so far are definitely the MP5. And the uh, AK-74U, those guns are pretty good at most maps, especially when you're playing close quarters. Um, they, they, they wreck at close quarters, but when uh, you you definitely want to stay away from those fights that are long range with these guns. Because with them being submachine guns, they're basically shooting people at long range is basically like throwing rocks at them. You're not going to be able to kill them very quickly. And they, if they have an assault rifle, they definitely have a jump on you. I mean, there's no, there's no sniping submachine gun in this game yet, from what I can tell. But uh, like, if they have an assault rifle and you have a submachine gun at range, you're gonna lose every single time, which is how it should be, in my opinion. Um, you gotta use your weapons correctly in the location you are, and set yourself up for that. And a nice triple fail here. <laughs> I, I've got a couple good clips in here so far. Uh, I just uploaded a clip to my channel. This little like RC car thing. <laughs> it was so cool. I love theater mode on this so far. But um, I know a lot of you guys in my last video were talking about how uh, I, I wasn't shooting people and stuff like that. And I just want to clarify that's because I'm recording in theater mode. Because I, I know it might look like I'm not shooting them, but I can assure you I am because theater mode kind of lags a little bit. It's not it's not doing exactly what I did, so it, it's close. But it it's kind of like you know how Modern Warfare 2 kill cams kind of lagged a little bit, and it it didn't represent exactly what happened. That's exactly what's happening in theater mode here. So uh, I can assure you I'm hitting people, you guys. So uh, what I've learned so far is to choose your battles wisely. You don't want to run up in, in. If you see three people, you know you. If you're not flanking them and you're facing them head on, you're gonna lose every single time, basically, unless they're really bad. So you gotta watch out for that, because it, it's basically like Halo. If you uh, if you have two people and you're by yourself, you're probably gonna lose every single time. But uh, you uh, you can manage to get some pretty good clips, especially if you flank them. If you flank them. You can get awesome, awesome clips with that, and uh, you can get those triple sprays and quad sprays like uh, Modern Warfare 2 did. Another thing I found out in this game is that basically everyone who have, has the game now and has not uh, is not waiting for it and bought it at midnight release and all that stuff. That it means they all are pretty good at Call of Duty. I found out they can all shoot really good, and uh, I'm not winning all my gunfights like in Modern Warfare 2. I usually so everyone's pretty good online that I found out, and uh, everyone that's gonna suck when uh, Christmas time comes around is because they're all gonna be getting it for Christmas. They don't know what's going on. They're gonna be like all scared and everything, like 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 in figuring stuff out. Pretty much how we are right now, and we're gonna have to jump on them so much. So when Christmas comes around, it's gonna be a lot easier. But uh, I'm finding I have to approach this game way differently than Modern Warfare 2. Since there is no stopping power and everything, you have to use your head a little bit more, and you have to try and you have to try and go for those flanking rounds a lot. That's how I found I'm being successful in games. And right now, like on my Delta account, the one that was uh, dropping frames and stuff, that one is about it's it, I'm at about a 1.5 KD on there, which is pretty good for dropping frames and lagging like every single game. And I might I might go on there and delete friends like Guns Gunsfire just posted videos saying about that, so I might try that out. But I know on this one it's not lagging at all. So on this one I'm having way better games and the uh, my KD right now is around probably two point one six, I wanna say. It's around there pretty much. 
which is pretty it's uh, it's I find this game a lot more enjoyable when your frames are dropping and you're tagging every single game so I was getting kind of pissed off about that but besides that now that I'm on a new account that's not lagging it's pretty pretty good and I don't know what the problem was uh, if it was just with the first servers the first night but on my Delta Hunter account it was fine like everything was just perfect and then the second day that's when all hell broke loose and, uh, and then I decided to make go on my new account so um, I have no friends on here and I want to play with some of you guys so if you guys want to play with me go ahead and add my name I'm gonna put it up right now and um, go ahead and add me if you guys want to play with me I'm on PlayStation 3 only but uh, yeah I have like six or seven friends on here and if it starts lagging because of what Gunsfryer said with the friends list and stuff then uh, I'm gonna have to clear it out but I only have like five or six friends seven you know so if you guys want to play with me and uh, experience Black Ops awesomeness together, go ahead and add me. I, I would be thrilled to play with you guys. I, I always love meeting new people, and I play with my subscribers a lot, actually. I've had a, a couple up in lobbies. I haven't had any for Black Ops yet because I'm still trying to get used to the maps. And I want to, in the future, once I get all these maps down and strategies and stuff, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be putting up some series here on Next Gen Tactics for you guys. And you can be sure to look out for that. Oh, and quickly before I go, I just want to let you guys know what perk system I'm using right now that I found pretty effective. Uh, basically, I'm using Hardline, uh, Steady Aim, and what is that? Yeah, I'm using Hacker for the third perk. And with that, I, I found an amazing setup for that because pretty much everyone's at built-in ninja at this point. <laughs> so uh, I, I think they're going to fix that, what they said with the sound system and everything. So we'll see about that. And uh, yeah, Hacker is pretty pretty awesome for not buying dying my claymores and stuff can't wait to get hacker pro that's gonna be amazing so uh that's the end of the game final score is 23 and 7 i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys want to play with me go ahead and add the name i put up on the video and uh with that i will see you guys later have a great day and uh, keep on gaming guys see ya hey guys we're on facebook check the description of this video for the link to our new facebook application Subscribe and get our latest video updates posted right on the wall on your own Facebook page.